Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new, my name is Amanda. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you are part of my YouTube family. As you saw, I just had breakfast and I am freezing today. I, it's very cold outside. I don't even know what the temperature is, but it's probably like in the 50s, low 60s, and it's just, it's cold, man. Like I am not digging this weather change. I don't want summer to end. Um, but I can definitely feel it's beginning to really happen. So I just threw on a super baggy sweatshirt with some leggings and some slippers, and I've been in the house all morning. I am going to be making my iced coffee, and I cannot wait to show you guys. So I'm gonna get everything out, and we're gonna just go for it. Okay, so obviously my straw is super tall compared to my glass, but that's okay. That's like first world problems right now, but I got this chameleon cold brew this is an unsweetened coffee it is organic that is why i chose this one because i did want to find an organic coffee so i am gonna just shake this up the best i can it's not been open yet so um there's not much room for shaking i think two or three probably two because this is a small glass Got my coffee. And then I got my favorite oat milk I will be using for a good shake. Pretty. I don't know how this is gonna taste. I'm kind of nervous because I didn't buy um, a sweetened creamer. I didn't find one that I liked, so I'm kind of still on the hunt for that, but I still wanna try it this way. Um, so here goes nothing. That is really good. For a black coffee with just oat milk and no like sweetened creamer, this tastes really good. And I can already tell it's super powerful. Oh my god. I like this a lot. I think this is like my new favorite coffee. I'm not even joking. I put a lot of milk in mine, which lately I've been doing, even with my hot coffee, but that was a winner. So today I'm gonna go to Aldi and I have a lot of things I'd like to pick up from Aldi. And I'm gonna take you along with me. So I'm gonna do that today and I do want to get a workout in probably when I get back from the store I'll do that. I just want to go and get my stuff So the groceries are done because I do need some stuff from there, but yeah, I am so Happy with this. I do need to get a creamer though Let me Set y'all up on my dash I was looking into one of those um, camera mount things for your vehicles the other day and I was between two of them and I was pretty sure I was gonna get one of them but I didn't order either. I just, I don't know, I still thinking on it. I know it won't be able to stick to the actual dash. It would have to be the window and then it would hang down and I don't know, I'm still thinking about it but for right now, we are gonna deal with what we have. I'm buzzing from that coffee. That was like insanely good and powerful and not a bad buzz either. Like I don't feel jittery or anything and I think what helped is that I had breakfast before I drank it, which is very rare for me. I usually have my coffee and then I eat breakfast, but I'm kinda liking the breakfast first idea. Okay, I need to go get some money. I'm gonna go do that first and then we are going to the stores. I have a couple things that I'm looking for that are not groceries, so I might make a stop at Target. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take you with me through the whole thing. It is 63 degrees, judging by my car thermometer, which isn't too bad. It warmed up a little bit. We are good to go. All right, mask, water, phone, camera, let's go.
Okay. Uh, I just got out of Target, so I was looking for a few things. I wanted to find a yoga mat holder, like almost like a, a vase type contraption to hold my yoga mats. And I don't know if I want it to be like a woven material or like a basket, that type of a basket, or if I want it to be like see-through. I'm not sure yet, but uh, Target did not have anything. And I did look on Amazon already and they didn't have anything either. It was mostly just like laundry basket type things, like laundry hampers. So I was kind of surprised they didn't have anything, but Target didn't. And then I was also looking for a container, preferably acrylic, to hold my glass straws because I want to put them somewhere where they're not going to get broken. And that way I can put them in a drawer rather than them just being like in the dish drainer right now because it's where I've been keeping them because I don't have a place to put them that's necessarily safe enough so I want a container for that no go at Target and they didn't have a creamer either I was looking for a flavored creamer they have multiple ones but all of them have gums so debating whether I want to go to Walmart and just like look to see if they have like any little baskets or anything I'm gonna drive and then I'll decide. Okay, I just got out of Walmart and they didn't really have the type of acrylic things that I was looking for um, and they didn't have a basket for my yoga mat. So, but I'm glad I looked and I did kind of browse a little areas of the whole store and I found this suja. It says Mighty Dozen. It has apple, celery, cucumber, kale, and collard greens. So this has a great ingredient list and I wanna try it. Like I haven't had a cold, juice beverage in a while. Ooh, that's really good. Mm. I'm glad I tried this. It has organic, it's all organic. Apple juice, celery juice, cucumber, kale, collard greens, lemon juice, mint tea, ginger juice, spinach, spirulina powder, um, corella powder, and barley grass powder. Chlorella, chlorella powder. I'm finally off to Aldi now to get my groceries. I can't wait to show you all what I find. And um, honestly, I haven't been to Aldi in probably like two months. I just haven't been there. Um, I've been going to like all the other stores, but yeah, it's time to hit up Aldi. guys you have no idea how happy I am I found a plant-based creamer by Chobani and it was on sale and I'm so happy I cannot wait to try this I think I'm gonna go home and make another coffee because I can't wait to see what this tastes like I'm not a super big fan of pumpkin spice I would prefer like a vanilla or something but this is a good start I I'm so excited okay time to go home and get this I'll put away. All my groceries are in the back. 
Okay guys, so I wanted to show you the cold stuff I got first so that way I can put those things away. So I got some kombuchas. I was out of all of those so I picked some of those up. And then I got some of this vanilla yogurt for Trev and of course my creamer. I cannot wait to try this. Oh my gosh. Um, and then I got some frozen peas, green beans, and broccoli just in case I'm in a crunch and I need something. I don't have fresh vegetables, which these have all come in handy before. And I got some fresh brush brush. <laughs> some fresh Brussels sprouts which I am gonna make tonight and I got a sweet potato I don't know why I put this in this part of the haul but I did so just one sweet potato um, he's gonna be really good so yeah I'm gonna put these things away and then I will show you the rest of the haul but first I'm gonna make my coffee I don't think I mentioned this, but I also got a hummus, just a normal um, one, like not a garlic or anything, because I want to have this with some veggies. I haven't had hummus in so long, so yeah, this is going to be tasty. Okay, I am so excited for this. Two ice cubes was perfect this morning, so I'm going to stick with two. a dash more <laughs> like that and I cannot wait to try this I'm hoping it's good I hope Chobani comes out with a dairy free vanilla or a dairy free hazelnut creamer I think that would be so delicious much I wonder I don't know okay okay Ooh, that is really good if you're gonna do an iced coffee definitely get a flavored creamer of some sort it really takes it up that one more notch I looked in the back and it says that it contains 2% or less of the gallon gum or whatever gum is in this so I don't know I felt pretty comfortable buying this considering the amount I'm using it's not a lot for my coffee I can definitely live with this for right now but yeah I hope they come out with more flavors that are dairy free I'm gonna show you the rest of my haul now I got my favorite tortilla chips of all time. I got two bunches of bananas because I was completely out. I got a seed bread, which I love those little slices. I've been getting mine from Pick and Save, but Aldi had the tiny, um, look, the tiny slices as well, so I got those. And then I picked up some more walnuts and some almonds. I got a couple avocados because I haven't had avocado either in a long time, and I'm trying to get as much healthy fat into my diet as possible as per always. I got two brown rices because I've been eating rice a lot lately. And then I also got a quinoa, two cans of lentil soup, just for in case, I don't know, it's like a quick meal and it's pretty healthy. And then I got ketchup back here, a bunch of coconut oils because I use it for baking, I use them for oil pulling, I use them for body lotion. I go through a jar of this pretty quickly and then I got three of my salsas. This salsa I've missed so much. This is the medium salsa, thick and chunky. And then I got a couple cans of tuna. This is just sustainably caught tuna in water. Um, I like mine in water instead of oil and I like to get it with no added salt. And then I also got some zucchini and some celery, which I plan to dip in the hummus that I got. So that's my little Aldi haul. And yeah, I'm gonna put all this away and probably start on supper and enjoy the rest of my coffee. So I just cut up these Brussels sprouts and put some olive oil with them and I'm gonna roast these in the oven. I absolutely love roasted Brussels sprouts. They come out so delicious, they're full of flavor. So I'm not gonna put any spices on these. I think I'll just season them once they come out, but these are gonna go in the oven 
and I actually have leftovers to eat tonight, so that's what I'm gonna do. While my food is heating up, because I have leftovers, I am gonna get a quick workout in, and I think I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes, so that way I know like my food's probably hot, so yeah. Um, but I'm just gonna do a quick floor workout, probably do some resistance bands and leg weights mixed in there, and yeah, let's see what we can get done in 15 minutes. interrupt this programming because of that. Oh God, you guys, it's huge. Oh my God. I gotta kill this thing. Cause oh my gosh. Ugh. You stay there. I had a tarantula when I was younger, but I absolutely hate these kinds of spiders, so. Oh my god, I'm so scared to even get close to it. Uh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, okay, okay. We can continue now. wasn't quite 15 minutes um because that spider situation <laughs> I would say it took like three minutes out of my workout time but I still got a little workout in my legs are feeling sore it doesn't take long to work the muscles like it doesn't at all and I'm so out of breath like was I not breathing I'm gonna go eat now I'm sure my food is pretty well hot um, I'll show you what I'm having and those Brussels sprouts came out of the oven as well and they are so delicious, so let's go check it out, shall we? We grilled out the other night, so I have leftover organic baked beans and fried potatoes and then I also have one of my meatless burgers and then I just cleaned some mixed greens and then I have a side of the Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna top it with some vegan mayo, some ketchup, and some mustard. So, and then I also have my water on the side. But yes, I'm gonna eat this. And then I think I'm going to take a shower because my favorite show is on tonight, America's Got Talent, and I want to be ready to just chill out by seven o'clock. So I'm gonna eat, shower, and then probably make a tea and watch my show. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end this vlog here. I wanna thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already Ready so you don't miss out on any of my videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye!